Session number eight featuring Matt Davis Poker, ACR Venom, Final Tableist, and Twitch Streamer. Let's get in these two five streets, buy in for 1500 and win thousands of dollars. Only at the win slash encore, my favorite casino in Las Vegas. Jeff Bosky, what up? It's Matt Davis. Just want to drop you a quick video to say good luck on your 13K bank Rolex challenge. I know you're giving yourself four months to complete it. I think you can do it in two months. So good luck. Hope you win big. Can't wait to see the new Rolex when you get it. Oh, wow. With blinds at two dollars, five dollars. Asian male on the cutoff opens to twenty. I'm in the small blind with Jack Ten of Hearts. My gut says to three bet to seventy. Then I'm like, oh shit, we got to make it eighty. Then I'm thinking, oh shit, this is a lot of money. What am I doing? I can just see a flop. I put in twenty. Big blind Matt Davis poker goes for the squeeze play like it's a tournament or some shit. Asian male thinks about it for a while and puts in the call. Eighty-five dollars to go. It's back on me. Three ways with Jack high out of position. Sign me up. Flop comes, king, king, seven, two hearts. I check, Matt Davis checks, and Asian male in the cutoff quickly bets $100. I weigh my options, do I wanna rep a king here? Check raise or just call? I chicken out and just call. Big blind folds, but later turns to be pocket queens. Pocket queens. A 10 hits the turn, now we got a pair and a flush draw. I check to the cutoff and he bets $325. This is no limit, baby. What do you do here? Paired board, two pair, flush draw, out of position. Let's stick around, see what happens. I put in the call, $325, and the river is a brick. I check with no plan. Why have a plan? And he checks behind. I show my hand, and it's good, and we scoop a nice pot. Uh, you guys made me pull the best hand. Queens? You guys are the worst. <laughs> there you go. With the blinds at 2-5, I look down at pocket aces in the cutoff. A sight for sore eyes, make it 15 to go. Could make it 20, but 3x is plenty. Two elderly Caucasian males calling the blinds. It's a good situation. Shout out to all elderly Caucasian males. You play pretty straightforward. I like it. Flop comes, 10, 9, 3, 2 hearts. I don't have a heart. They both check to me. I bet $30. The plan is to keep betting until they raise me, then I fold like a little girl. They both call. Let's hope for a brick on the turn. Turn is not a brick, it's a jack. Small blind checks and short stack and the big blind shoves all in for 130. What's he repping? Queen jack, a pair and a straight draw, two pair, plus draw, making one last stand at a river. I don't know, but we have aces. And I put in the call, small blind folds. This could be a horrible call. Let me know in the comments. He triumphantly shows eight, seven offsuit and we're drawing dead. Congratulations. September 11th. 2021 the lodge in austin texas i'll be playing the 510 uncapped no limit texas hold'em live streamed game plenty of other games going on i'll probably hop in those as well looking to buy in for around five thousand dollars with a five thousand dollar reload on the hip tune in to the lodge live stream or just come down to austin texas say hi gamble it up in one of the biggest action rooms in all of texas i'll see you guys there Two dollars, five dollars are the blinds, and I look down at Big Lick and Diamonds. That's right, sixty-nine. Nothing sweeter. Let's make it fifteen to go. Early position. I should get some respect. I do not get respect. Elderly Caucasian males, both of them, same guys, call in position, and the big blind calls. We're four ways to a flop of King Jack five, two diamonds. We got the flush draw. I bet thirty half pot. We get a fold, and the button makes it sixty-five to go with about two hundred behind. 
kind of min click is this shit? Are we dead? Does he have a pair and a flush draw bigger than us? Of course, we're gonna see a turn, and I have a plan in mind. The turn is a three of diamonds. We hit our flush, and I'm gonna do the old live pro, same bet move out of flow making it as obvious as possible. I hit my flush. What other hand would I do this with? Setting up that river jam. I bet 65, <laughs> same bet. He looks a little flustered and shoves all in for 200. I snap call, he looks disgusted. River's a brick. And I show the 69. He says he had two pair on the flop. It must have been King Jack. Got to raise bigger or flat call in the future. Price me out or else I'm just going to get there and lead into you. And he's out of here. <laughs> Dude, this is so good. $400 win tournament? Oh my god, showing off your watch? <laughs> not, not even mine, I'm in a store. <laughs> really flexing. 2-5, no limit, hold them. Under the gun, plus one opens to 20. I'm in middle position with ace nine of diamonds. Could three bet, but I'm a big chicken, so I just put in the call, hoping to flop a flush draw. Guy who's bulldozing the table on my left puts in the call. He likes to gamble and a blind calls for four ways to a flop. A common theme at this table, flop comes. Deuce, three, four, original razor checks. Put him on a lot of ace X. If I was betting, we can get him to fold his better ace X, hopefully, and get all the non-paired Broadway hands out of there, deny their equity. And we have backdoor diamonds just in case. I bet half pot, $40. Gentleman on my left, flat calls. And we're heads up to a turn. The plan is to barrel nines and diamonds. Yep, that's the plan. The turn's a jack of diamonds. Here we go. Runner, runner, gets no funner. Size up to $100. And my man on the left uh, does not call. He does not fold. He puts out five black chips. Uh, if you don't know what a black chip is, it's worth 100 bucks each. So now we have the nut flush draw and a straight draw and we're out of position facing a $400 additional wager. Can't see myself profitably continuing here. He's probably got a set or ace five or five six. So we just fold and he's nice enough to show us five six. I paid the dealer to rabbit hunt and we would have missed. So great fold by me, really in the zone. Under the gun with pocket tens, make it 15 and we get four callers. All right, five ways to a flop. Let's flop a set and flop a set we do. 10, eight, four with a flush draw. Now conventional logic would be to bet your set and get value, but I feel like I'm gonna get tricky and one of these Munsons is gonna bet. I can give them the check raise, which is obviously the nuts, but they'll still continue. I check and everybody quickly checks. Of course, of course they check. Let's hold for a safe turn card. It's an offsuit five. The old six, seven comes in, but we're gonna bet try to get some value finally about $30 and I get two calls there are two hearts on the board at this point we're hoping for a pair of the board on the river hopefully we can get a bet and a raise or a shove in there or something hopefully no one hits their draw the river's a queen of hearts completing jack nine and the backdoor heart draw not great uh, not a big fan of check calling so we're gonna bet fold that's right bet fold second set great plan I bet $60 and both players fold With blinds at $2, $5, a scratch golfer and bowler opens the middle position to $20. Session's winding down, getting a little tired. All that kami sushi is uh, finally digesting. Hairy crab with uni, caviar, and black truffle. More beef. More comments. Oh, this is all good. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm a sample. Hot stone? Oui. Complimentary from the chef. Very generous man. Come check it out. White truffle. Oh, chef, look at that. This is like, uh, what is it? Like $50. Wow. $50? Wow. White truffle. Green tea ice cream. Matcha, yeah. Tea. Tempura lobster. Tempura lobster on top. And the sauce? Like like, mm -hmm. like there we go. And then I wake up with Ace King of Spades on the button. Time to three bet it. Sixty dollars to go. Blinds fold. And the scratch golfer slash bowler puts in the call. Flop comes favorable. Ace seven four flush draw, not spades. He checks. Of course, I'm gonna bet range here. Sixty dollars is the bet, and he quickly calls. The plan is to fire three barrels, planning on just folding to any check raises. People usually have it when they check raise, especially on A side boards. So when the turn brings an eight, five six gets there, probably isn't calling five six 
suited out of position, who knows? Could have some sets, a few two pairs, uh, a lot of worse aces and flush draws. Against that range, good to bet. Size up to $150, 2.5 my flop bet, and approximately 66% of the pot. He does not call, he does not fold. He check raises the old school 3X, making it nice and easy for me to continue. The joke's on him. I snap fold face up, and he had? Straight off flush draw, I didn't have anything. What? <laughs> didn't have anything. A7-4. A7-8-4. A7-4-8. What'd you have? Five deuce of hearts. Five deuce of No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. <laughs> He's trying to donate to get me a Rolex quicker. Five deuce. Flush draw, straight draw. You only made it 3x. Only made it 3x? What am I supposed to do on the button? If they're calling with five high, I can just min raise. I can 4x. Five deuce. And that was the last hand of the session. I felt something felt fishy, but I had to stick with the plan and full top top. That's a uh, 400 blind deep cash game poker for you folks. Sign up today, promo code folks. In for $1,600, out for $2,131 for a profit of $531, that much closer to the coveted Rolex. Let's get it. Add them up.